and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maddie, and today my Mexican travels have taken me from Ajiji, Jalisco to Leon, Guanajuato. Since I don't have a car yet, to get to Leon, I would have normally taken a 60 peso bus, then an Uber, or a 650 peso cab out of Ajiji. But this time, I was lucky enough to hitch a ride with some friends of mine who came in town for my birthday. From the bus terminal in Guadalajara, it was a three hour and 575 peso bus ride to Leon. This time, I chose the line ETN and found the seats even more spacious and comfortable than Primera Plus, which is what I usually take. And to answer the question I got a lot on a previous video, yes, they do have bathrooms on board. Then it was a quick walk from that bus terminal in Leon to my hotel. And yes, this dramatic bed flop was completely necessary. Now, let's fast forward to the next day. For the Feria de Leon, I read online that it was going to cost 12 pesos to get in, but they never did charge an entry fee. But hold the phone. Why would I travel four hours to some random carnival in Mexico? I have one word for you, break. They are my favorite Mexican band and I am absolutely obsessed with the lead singer Jesus Navarro's voice. I saw them in concert in Mexico City last year and it was absolutely life-changing, so I would not miss the opportunity to see them again. Especially since I saw this post on their Instagram saying it would be free to get in. So, <laughs> yes please. I did get here at 10.20 a.m. and I wasn't too far into the line, however, they said it might be up to 6 p.m until they get the tickets. And as you can see, it's completely in the sun, this entire line. I was like, it's not worth it to get tickets for free. So I decided to go online and get one so that I can enjoy the rest of my day at the Feria and go to the Zona de Piel, try to find some cool products because that seemed like fresh out of my nightmares. <laughs> it appears I'm here during school field trip time because there's all these kids in uniforms. For the first time ever at a fair, I am about a foot and a half to two feet taller than like everybody in here. <laughs> but this is so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm getting like secondhand joy from all these kids just screaming and laughing, playing bumper cards, waiting on the rides. So this tent seems super random to me, but it's like all these piled up household goods, like pans and plates and pots and containers. But at a fair, I don't really get it, but this area is called Something de los Famosos Gritones. And yesterday it was kind of like an auction house area. So they're auctioning off like laundry baskets and I don't even know what else. Ten divisiones, que levante su mano, ahí dáselo, ahí dáselo, 15 pesos, ahí dáselo, ahí te pagan, otros 15, que levante su mano. But I've never seen this at any fair in the US, so this is definitely unique to Mexico, it seems like, or maybe to Latin America, I don't know. Yeah, you see like big spoons and forks and giant pots and everybody's walking away with them, so I wonder, they must be like a super, super good price here. This is so interesting. I have no idea how this works, but he's just naming 15 pesos, 20 pesos, 100 pesos. And then as soon as, as, soon as somebody holds up money, then they get it? I, I don't know. <laughs> I am in the forum now and this is my type of shopping. It's all shaded because we're inside. Everything is organized in everybody's little booth, so there's like art clothing we have here, handmade products, um, like wines and jellies and chocolates, hats. <laughs> I love, love, love looking at stuff. Shopping, shopping, like clothes shopping, not so much, but Arthesinias and products from all over Mexico. <laughs> I love it. Hola. Hola, ¿ya los conocías? Uh, no, ¿cómo funcionan? Son lápices que se pueden plantar. ¿Sí? Arriba tienen una capsulita con semillas. Ah para que puedan hacer esto cuando entran en contacto con la humedad de la tierra. ¡Qué chido! ¿Cuánto sí. cuesta? 15 pesos, o la cajita con 12 cuesta en 100 pesos. Ok, ¿tiene una variedad o solo es un, una mm. semilla? Eh, vienen dos de cada uno. This is freaking cool. For 15 pesos a pencil, you get a pencil that's made out of newspaper and that you can actually use and then plant the seeds that are on top. I love that. Well, I haven't been drinking much caffeinated coffee lately, but on this trip, for some reason, I'm extra tired. So I got some organic coffee from Mexi. Me it looks like Mex High, which I think is also very cute. <laughs> mm. 
I love the foam on top of a cappuccino. That is always my favorite part. And now I'm passing by these giant carved wooden sculptures. This thing is maybe like 10 feet, 11 feet tall. This particular one is 24,000 pesos and it's like painted, hand carved. This one is 28,000 pesos, even more elaborate. Aproximadamente cuánto tiempo toma para hacer una, una de esos? Un mes. Un mes? Wow. Increíble. They have actual bees at this one. Yes. Sometimes you'll see when people sell honey that they'll actually leave bees in there to make it look like it's fresh. Well, that's how you know it's real fresh honey. There's actual bees working right there at the stand. <laughs> I had a request from one of my friends to bring back a little something something. So I see all these keychains here that are made. Son de piel, ¿verdad? Todo de piel. So completely made out of leather. Two for 50 pesos. So I'm like, these are adorable. They're like tiny little leather shoes. It's so cute. <laughs> Yes, I'm literally sitting on the toilet right now, but I have to give you a piece of Mexico advice because if you look around in here, there's no toilet paper. Always have a travel pack of tissues on you so that you're never in a wet position. <laughs> or the better option is pay attention before you go in because sometimes the toilet paper is on the outside. These sunglasses are way too funny not to try on. Okay. Well, these are not meant for seeing out of, but <laughs> EDC Mexico is coming up and these are definitely EDC Mexico style. So I passed by this booth filled with shiny things and I was like, let's go. But this is jewelry from Tasco, which means it's real silver. And after looking for an obnoxiously long time, I found this super beautiful heart ring and it was 400 pesos, but because this is the last day that they're having feria, he did it for 350. So I'm walking away with this with Muchas ganas de ir a Tasco otra vez. I super want to go back there, but until then, I'll just take a little bit of it with me. <laughs> this really made me laugh. Fragrance is super, wow! <laughs> well, I am determined to find new boots while I'm here, if I can, that are real leather, because my current shoes literally have holes in the bottom, so it is time. Those unfortunately were my size, but they were pretty tight and the ankle was too high up for me. I like as low of an ankle as possible so my feet can breathe, so I'm gonna keep looking. I was starting to think the leather stuff was just mixed in with everything else, which was kind of frustrating, but here it is. It's just on the second level of this never-ending forum. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is leather heaven! Back there were some super beautiful boots with either machine uh, stitching or stitching by hand that looked to be a thousand or thirteen hundred pesos and up. There's like all these leather jackets, bags galore! Ah, that is genuinely something I've never seen before. I believe that was the National Guard with their big like rifles or whatever type of gun that is. Looking at products at one of the booths, like if I was the vendor, I'd be so intimidated like oh my gosh, what are, did I do something? And ah, put it on. <laughs> with those guns, you're like, ah! <laughs> Look at all this food. The smells at this feria are like driving me insane. And all of this is made with flour, so I can't try it, but I will take the smells all day. <laughs> I was told that this is new this year. They have a little area that's filled with products from all over the world. Syria, Turkey, where else? Egypt, Pakistan, Colombia. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I post new videos just like this every single week.
Okay, I love this because at this fair, it's so cheap to play these games. So for 20 pesos or about one US dollar, you get to throw three. I was hoping to win the unicorn up there, but I have too strong of a hand. I'm gonna try again, but there's so many more to play. So for this one, you roll the balls up and add up the numbers, and then it equals whatever the number says up there. It says everybody wins 50 pesos, so let's do it. Like they always make the hoops really small and they pump the balls up really big so they bounce everywhere but still fun, still fun. And once again, three shots or four in my case. <laughs> for 10 pesos plus he gave me a little candy okay so for this game i exchange 10 pesos for two peso coins i throw it and hope to get a prize <laughs> this is just like bringing back my childhood right now. So 20 pesos and I get a bucket. You just have to try to get it home one of the bottles. I know how difficult it is, but I'm doing it anyway. Unsurprisingly, I did not win this bottle ring game, but it's probably my favorite one to play anyway. Next, I did this horse racing game. Basically, you roll a golf ball the holes and try to get it in the fast or super fast ones to make your horse win. I thought I recorded the whole race, but my silly robot shut down instead. As you can see, I started recording afterwards, thinking I was turning the camera off. Even after five years of making YouTube videos, this stuff still happens sometimes. However, this was a really cool moment and actually one of the highlights of my day. Um, so I didn't win, but he did, and he decided to gift me his prize, so I got this little turtle. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Tiene algo que es menos dulce? Sigue la mano. Gracias. No, no, no. Me gusta esta ruedas. Sí. ¿Cuánto cuesta? sat next to me at the, at the game and he showed me the best strategy. I think I was actually second in the, the winning, the running, I mean. But he let me have his prize, so I got this. And an agua fresca, and I'm actually super thirsty. That was so nice. Well, there's like a bazillion options for where you can choose to eat, but I found gorditas de Michoacan, one combination, one with requesón and chorizo for 35 pesos, and it sounded really good. So just like many things in Mexico, this is a corn flour, well in this case it's like a patty. They slice it down the middle, fill it with the ingredients, and it's sort of fried. Very tasty and very filling. I like it. So that big black um, plushie, that seems kid friendly. <laughs> okay, so I got myself one of these cards. You just 
just load pesos onto it and then they scan it and you get to go on a ride. I did a carnival ride like this. Before the lines get crazy, I'm doing all these rides. And this one again, 70 pesos. standing in the sun being miserable all day just to save $66. Okay, I decided to come back to my hotel room for a bit because I wanted to drop off my little tortuga so I don't have to keep carrying him around everywhere and just take a beat away from the people. But while I'm in here, figured I'd show you. This is the Hampton Inn. Your very basic, uh, nice hotel room. This is a little bit more than I'm used to paying or that I typically will pay when I'm traveling. I try to go a little bit more budget friendly with like Airbnb if I can, but it's $75 a night, which includes free breakfast, free parking, and it's uh, like a seven or eight minute walk away from the fairgrounds. So I kind of figured I'd be saving like 10 to $15 on Ubers, which would make up some of that cost. But here you go. Got the sink area, pretty nice. Bathroom, shower. Uh, it includes coffee, a little coffee pot there, a TV, a desk space, some... Um, oh, there's a mini fridge. That's cool, I didn't, I didn't realize that before. And we can look out here and see a nice big view of this side of the city. Also last night I got the most glorious night's sleep, so very comfortable bed, lovely pillows, 10 out of 10 would recommend if you want a hotel in Leon. Also, I wanted to mention this when I was walking around, but I totally forgot. I say this in the best of spirits, but you know that song from Eminem that's like, y'all act like you never seen a white person before. <laughs> I could not stop thinking that the whole day because there was no foreigners at this fair at all. Nobody. I was definitely the whitest and blondest person there. I had somebody at one point say, where are you from? You sound really weird. <laughs> and then another person walked up and was like, oh my gosh, you have the most beautiful green eyes. I was like, thank you. <laughs> but this is definitely a very local, very Mexican festival, not festival, fair. No problem with that whatsoever. The people of Leon and whoever is at this festival are very respectful. I didn't feel uncomfortable, but I did feel like they're like, what is this white girl doing here? Anyway, I also got to meet up with one of my best friends, Moni, and my new friend Eduardo from Leon. We even found me these gorgeous maroon leather boots for 780 pesos. But since I didn't get those free concert tickets, I had to say goodbye here because it is almost time for the red concert. I'm so freaking excited. I'm already so glad that I got a seat. There's nobody here so far, but behind me, that's where the paid but standing people are. You can't even see behind them. That's where the free ones would be. Sometimes it just feels good to spend the money and get a better experience. And this, I think, is going to be one of those times. Siempre que venimos, los hemos emocionadísimos y nos morimos de ganas de compartir música con ustedes. Y esta noche no es decepción. Vamos a pasarla bien. Given that this is all copywritten music, I don't think I can include any of the concert really, which just truly, truly breaks my heart because I would love to share 
the vocal talents of Jesus Navarro and this amazing, phenomenal show that they put on. But here's some clips anyway of the dancing and the lights and the magic and the action. I think if you ever get the opportunity to see a rake concert, you should definitely, definitely, definitely do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Absolutely amazing concert, just like the last one. Ah, I love rake so much. Oh, oh my gosh. What a fun day, but I am exhausted. After I got out of there and got through the thick of it with all the people, I decided to get another warache. This time I went to Warachin Warachon Jr. So I didn't have to wait in a line for two and a half hours like the first time. It was 200 pesos after tip, highly delicious, and now I'm ready to crash. So I'll see you manana. Hello from another beautiful day in Leon, Guanajuato. Although I had a very nice breakfast this morning and I slept like an angel, I'm so tired, I don't want to record, but I cannot leave this city without showing you Zona de Piel, one of the things that Leon is famous for, that is the leather zone. All the streets in this area are lined with little shops and stuff selling everything from boots to belts to bags to keychains, but then inside you look down these little hallways and there's all these stalls filled with even more stuff. There's even super intricate and elaborate saddles for my army of horses that I don't have. <laughs> These are super pretty and they are 650 pesos. I don't know if I want brown, red, black. I don't know why I act like getting a pair of shoes and picking a color is a life or death decision. <laughs> but I'm sitting here like, okay, do I want this kind of Mm, burntish brown uh, sort of combination. D they didn't have the red or this maroon color, which I really love in my size. Went with the brown color. She was extremely patient. Otra vez, muchas gracias por su paciencia. Excepta tarjetas? Sí. Gracias. También es que quiero algo un poquito más grande. Puedo ver. Um, y si, sí, el café. ¿La de hasta arriba? Sí. Ah, sí, la, la café. Ah, pero no, en el medio, que es más oscuro. Gracias. Eh, ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Ahorita okay. tengo Este grande está en 690. Ok. ¿Puedo quitar el papel? Sí. Uh -huh. After considering those two backpacks for an obnoxiously long time because I honestly could not decide on the color, then I'm like, oh, do you take card? No, cash or transfer. So I really need my Mexican bank account to be set up. It's it's still in process, but until then, I'm guess I'm not getting a backpack today. At least from there, I do wanted I do wanted I did want something that fit my camera because the problem when I'm recording is a lot of times I want to put it away like if I don't feel safe in a location or. Um, I just don't want to hold it or whatever. I want to put it all set up and the current backpack that I have doesn't fit it without taking it apart Which sometimes just takes too long and setting it up takes too long. So Anyway, passed by this one store. I saw some cute backpacks in the window and I found The perfect crossbody bag that actually does fit my camera. So I got this for 415 pesos Really great deal for all leather. It feels super solidly made even on the bottom. It's like hard there's like a hard piece in there so for that scam where people go and knife the bottom so all your stuff falls out that will not happen to me well it is already time to check out of my hotel i cannot believe how fast this morning went by but i had so much fun i hope you had fun joining me if you enjoyed this video and want to see more from me hit that subscribe button and on the screen is the last video i made in leon showing the process of making luxury shoes it's super cool and you're not going to want to miss it and one more thing before you go <laughs> that bell so you can notify the next time I release a new video and I hope to see you there.